Welcome back Captain Morgan fans, I am Steve the Barman. In today's video, I've got three amazing cocktails, really easy cocktails for you that you can make at home or in your pubs and bars using Captain Morgan's Dark Rum. Uh, this will obviously go into all other sort of dark rums as well. I'm just using Captain Morgan's because that's the rum that kind of brought me into the whole cocktail world and kind of run well 25 odd years ago. So I've got a lot of love for this brand. Right, let's dive into this. As always, all the recipes will be in the description below. And as always, I am terrible at naming my drinks. So make sure you comment below and give me some names for these cocktails. So uh, cocktail number one, obviously get to get served up in a highball glass. That's a lovely sort of bamboo cooler thing, I think that's called. Right, uh, shaking cocktail this one. So. Uh, first ingredient, 50 ml, double bubble, nearly one and three quarter ounces of Captain Morgan Dark Rum. Lovely, very kind of underrated a little bit. It gets a lot of bad press, but it's actually it's really lovely. So um, 50 ml, double bubble of that. I want some fresh lime juice. I just want 10 ml of lime juice. Going there. Uh, now I want some cherry liqueur. You could go cherry brandy. Uh, or just kind of, This is kind of newish to my back bar, so I wanted to start rolling this out. Uh, really lovely, super thick, luscious uh, kind of cherry liqueur, cherry hearing. It's amazing, this is. Uh, and I just want 15, one five mil of this. Again, cherry brandies, cherry liqueurs, whatever you've got, but this is lovely, right? 15 mil of cherry hearing. And then I just kind of want some uh, some almond notes going through there. You could use amaretto, de serrano, if you really want to. I'm just going for some uh, <laughs> some orgite, <laughs> some orgio, orgiat. There we go. Uh, 15 mil of this. There we go. And then I just want some pineapple juice uh, to kind of bring those flavours together a little bit. So I'm just going supermarket own brand uh, pineapple juice. All I ever say all the time is just make sure you try and get uh, Preston Squeeze juices. Doesn't matter if they're supermarket brands, but Preston Squeeze will taste so much better than the stuff from Concentrate. So 50 ml double bubble of your pineapple juice. And then the final ingredient is just some uh, bitters. Up to you, I kind of like adding a bit of bitters to my rum cocktails. Uh, so these are just Ms. Better's bitters, aromatic, uh, very, very similar to Angostura. Um, that's just the brand I use, Ms. Better's bitters. So, uh, and these are pipette based, so I'm just going for about a quarter to a third of a pipette, which would be equivalent of about two dashes. Right, uh, let's just uh, whack a load of ice in our shaker. And then we're going to give this some proper welly, good, hard, fast shake for about 10, 12 seconds. Right, when you are happy with all that. Oh, it's lovely, lovely jubbly this. Uh, if you're in a professional establishment and you're trying to sell these, fresh ice in your glass and strain. If you're at home though, shake and dump, it's absolutely fine. Using fresh ice because it's not as melt. This stuff's melted, so it's going to melt a lot quicker and water your drink down a lot quicker. But fresh ice will stay frozen for a lot longer. There we go. Shake and dump. Pour that in. I'm just going to top this with a bit of crushed ice. And then to garnish this, I've got a bit of pineapple. You can sit on there. If I've got a pineapple spear, I've got a pineapple spear, pineapple leaflet. And then maybe, maybe a little cocktail cherry. Just got that out. There we go, so that is cocktail number one. Oh, fun. Fun, 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 fun with rum. Well then, the second cocktail is actually, it's actually a little bit similar to this, to be fair. Just a couple of little tweaks. Um, but it's really, really delicious. I'm going to kind of do this swizzle style. So I'm going to make it in a glass. And I'm going to swizzle it with my bar spoon. I've got a swizzle. Need to invest in the swizzle stick. But again, it's those flavours that just work really kind of well for me with Captain Morgan. So uh, let's go straight in the glass. So I'm going 50 ml double bubble of uh, my Captain Morgan's. I just, I just think it. I just think the rum works really well in cocktails. It's just fun and easy. It's nothing pretentious about it. It just works. So, uh, 50 ml double bubble of your rum. I'm going for some Falernum now. Um, John D. Taylor's uh, Velvet Falernum. Uh, and I want about 
Um, I could go 25 mil. I'm just going slightly under, actually. It's about 20 mil. I would say if you, if you did 60 mil, if you did two ounces with that, then do three quarters of an ounce of this. But I'm just going slightly less, 20 mil of Velvet Falernum. I'm going for some freshly squeezed lime juice. Uh, that one, I just want 15 mil of freshly squeezed lime juice. There we go. Uh, and now I just want some juices. Uh, so I'm going back to my pineapple juice again. But this time, I'm just going 25 mil of pineapple juice. And again, if you used two ounces, so 60 mil, then I would go 30 mil. Uh, so just take that up. Uh, and then I'm going for some uh, freshly squeezed orange juice. And this one's got bits in it because I love I love orange juice with bits in it. So I've just got this again, supermarket own brand, 25 mil again. And as I just said, if you use 60 mil of rum, then I would go 30 mil of orange juice. Now for me, I'm not going any sugar in this one. You can add a little bit of sugar if you wanted to, not a problem. But I am just going to put in some bitters again. So it's essentially, we're kind of flipping out the... Um, the orgeat, or the orgeat, whatever you want to call it, for falernum. And we're just we're just kind of adding some orange juice into the mix this time. I just think it's not massively different, but it just works, a treat. Right, there we go. Couple of, um, about a quarter of a pipette. It's about the equivalent of a couple of dashes. Now, as I say, crushed ice for this one. So I'm just gonna put a load of crushed ice in there. I'll do for now. I'm just going to get my bar spoon again. That's what they do with swizzles. They have a swizzle stick, and uh, it's kind of got little prongs on the end, and you just kind of do that. So I can kind of do the same thing with my bar spoon. There we go. Just a bit of fun in it. Fun swizzle. Yeah. Mm. Again. Very much run forward this one. If you do want a little bit of sugar just to mellow it out, it's absolutely fine. Top that up with a bit more crushed ice. I've got a pineapple slice here. And I've got a sprig of mint. Let me just pop that in there. And then we have those like um sort of easy kind of swizzle. Say not wildly different. It just gives you you can see the colour straight away is different as well, but it just gives you that kind of little bit, little bit of a different vibe going on. And obviously the John D. Taylor's um, Falernum is not as sweet as the Orgeat syrup. So again, this one is a lot sweeter, but oh, you know what, this one's fun. Mm. Delicious. Right, point in the video where I just love to give a big shout out to my Patreon community, my legends. Thank you so much for getting involved and supporting me. Your names will be scrolling along across the bottom of uh, of this video. Uh, brand spanking new, literally about a week old now by the time this goes out. Uh, I've just opened up my Facebook community for it as well, the Legends Club. So we've all gone into there just to make it easier for you guys to chat to each other. Uh, there will be live content. Uh, the first of which I'm going to do tonight, straight after filming this as well. So I'm going live in there. It's, uh, as I say, exclusive video content. There's my upgraded cocktail book. You can always get the free cocktail book from download from the pinned comment in all of my videos. But the updated version, it gets updated every single month is in there. It's just a common fun. I try and teach, I try and help, I try and educate as much as possible. So have a check out of my Patreon. If it's for you, come and, come and join us. Right, the third and final cocktail uh, with Captain Hawkins is kind of um, a homage to the the first rum cocktail that I really started drinking, and that was the Dark and Stormy. And obviously, uh, back in those days, it was kind of rum, just ginger beer. But I'm gonna, so that's kind of the premise of this. I'm just gonna play about with it very, very slightly. So, um, start as we mean to go on. So, again, 50 mil double bubble of your Captain Morgan's uh, dark rum. Now, I'm not gonna use ginger beer in this. Instead, I'm going for a ginger liqueur. Uh, and I'm going 15 mil of King's Ginger, which is a lovely, vibrant ginger liqueur. Uh, if you could go uh, other things like Giffard, I've got a, a premium ginger liqueur. It's absolutely lovely as well. Uh, this Canton, Demand Canton, great. Uh, so just 15 mil of this. One, five. Uh, the next ingredient I want, I'm just gonna add some apricot in this. Apricot and ginger works very well. Uh, and this is the premium brand that I was talking about of Giffard's. They do a ginger liqueur in this as well. 
And this is, these are just super vibrant. These are the kind of bog standard uh, labels that they have. They're sort of uh, equivalent to bowls, if you like, and all that. Uh, absolutely lovely, those. That's why I've got them as well. Um, but the premium GIF arts are just amazing, super vibrant. Right, 15 mil, one five of apricot liqueur. Uh, I want some uh, freshly squeezed lime juice now. So we're going 15 ml of uh, lime juice. That's lemon, I want lime. There we go, 15 ml of lime juice. And then just to kind of bring those flavors together, I'm just gonna add a little touch of sugar. And uh, I say, I'm not using ginger beer uh, and I'm just using soda water to be fair. Uh, so I'm just going 10 ml of sugar syrup. Lovely. So we've kind of got like an apricot, uh, dark and stormy sort of thing going on. Right, ice this down. Loads of ice. And then we're going to go hard and fast shake. Do I need a... Oh, let's get a fresh... We've got loads. Let's get a fresh shaker. Right, hard, fast shake, 10, 12 seconds. Right. When you are happy. You could use soda water. I uh, could use sort of, sort of Sprite. Sorry, I've just been I've been using that in a few uh, other cocktails. Click on Sprite if you wanted to. I'm just going soda water. I'm going to let the apricot and the ginger do the work in there. So I just want a 50 ml double bubble of my soda water. I pour it in the shaker so it's already nicely blended in there. We don't have to stir anymore. Uh, and then, as I say. Theme for all, if you're in a pub or bar, fresh ice, strain, if you're at home, shake and dump. Lovely, and these are proper lovely tiki glasses. And I just love the big thing, so I, I do love, I'm one of these that does like a lot of ice in the And I think this is actually a 20 ounce tiki glass, I think. Could use loads of crushed ice in there. And of course, the more ice you drink, the colder it is, Therefore, the longer the ice takes to melt, don't it? That's rules of, laws of physics. So, there we go. Dip that in there. What have we got? Uh, let's go. Let's go strawberry for this one. Actually, strawberry. Uh, another chunk of pineapple. It's tiki, isn't it? Wow. It's fun, isn't it? Let's put it like that. So there we go. We've got a sprig of mint. Yeah, a sprig of mint as well. There we go. So it's kind of a flip on, sort of a dark and stormy. Oh, that is delicious. The apricot notes, the ginger. Oh, I really, really love that. Uh, as always, I'm not going to get involved in, the, in rating these now. I'm not going to say which my favourite is. Uh, Mummy Barman's will be on screen just about there somewhere. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. And I will see you in the very next Captain Morgan's video. Over. And there'll be loads popping up right there.